Hello everyone and welcome back to my crypto journal. This week has been an absolutely amazing week for alt trading. For those of you who follow me on Twitter and YouTube, probably already know what coins I'm referring to. First up, we have REN racking up around 100% in less than a week. If you haven't checked out the video, you guys can find it on my channel. I made it about a couple weeks ago before this move happened. Next up, we have what I like to call the next Binance coin, the Huobi token. Shortly after I made a video on this coin last week, it decided to break out and is currently on the move. And if what I'm seeing is correct, there's still a good move on this coin left. If you guys haven't checked that video, you guys can find it on my channel as well. So overall, not a bad week for some altcoin trading. But today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite coins, NEO. I like to cover NEO about once a month to give you guys an update on what's going on with the price. So we're going to dive in and I'll give you my analysis on what I think could possibly happen in the weeks to come. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with NEO BTC and then I'll move on to NEO USD and give you guys my thoughts on that pair because it's a little different. All right, so here's a quick little flashback on what I thought would happen in my last video and where we are now. So until we get above this point over here, NEO simply doesn't look bullish to me at all. Uh, we're still in a downtrend in the bigger picture, bear flag here. A lot of signs are pointing towards the downside. So as you guys can see today, this was indeed a bear flag and we did end up going lower to this position where I mentioned in my last video. Now we haven't actually gotten there and we still have around 32% to go. So when we get closer to these targets, I like to think of other targets we could go to in case we reach this support right here. And as you guys can see on my red line, I do have another support line, which is a lot further down. And I don't think this one is as likely as the first one. I do think we'll get a bounce on here. If you guys watched my XLM video, I did have a similar area on the XLM chart and we did happen to see XLM find support. So that's what I'm expecting from NEO here. But you guys can see we've been on a downtrend since August 2018 and it's been kind of rough for the past couple of months going down 62%. We've had a couple bounces along the way, but we haven't really been able to hold. We even broke out of this downtrend, but it was kind of a fake break only to take us lower back to where we are now. So there's a couple of points I want to say here. For those of you that are holding NEO thinking it's going to go up or more importantly buying NEO at this price you guys can see the structure, even without any of the lines over here, we can see this structure does not scream bullish at all. This is a chart that's going almost straight down. We've slowed down around this area, but since the peak in 2017, we've just been straight down. However, the good news is we're getting close to a bottom, I think. And the reason I say that is because I am picking up some bullish divergence on the RSI and MACD. Now, for those of you who don't know what the bullish divergence means, is that when price begins to deviate from movement on the RSI and the MACD. So let me demonstrate right here real quick what I mean by that. So you guys can see on the price chart, we are continuing to make lower lows. However, on the RSI and MACD, we are actually making higher highs, which signals that a reversal is possibly around the corner. And what's really important is that if you guys look at the three day chart, we can see some bullish divergence showing up on the three day. Now it's extremely rare that I find this on the three day chart. That's a quite a significant find. And it tells me that we might actually be close to a reversal here. And if NEO actually does make a reversal here, I don't expect it to be a complete reversal. It could be, we could have a reversal pattern playing out with this being the left shoulder and the head and the right shoulder might be coming up. And I can't discount that. I do have a couple of worries though. We haven't actually made it to support. If you guys look back here on the day chart, we're actually, if we were to turn here, we'd be bouncing in the middle of nowhere, which is a little concerning to me, but but it wouldn't be unheard of. So at this point, most of you are probably wondering where could we bounce if we were to see a reversal here, because we might potentially have a trading opportunity coming up with NEO here. Well, before I get into that, I think it's really important to lay out the risk parameters here because I don't want to see NEO go below this most recent low. If we go below this most recent low, I don't know if we're going to make this reversal move anytime soon. We could possibly be coming back towards this downtrend before we do the reversal move. As you guys can see over here, we even broke through it before we even made this 55% move over here. And even before that, you guys can see we had another touch here. This is where it began really, so it doesn't really count, but we have a 40% move. So it's pretty safe to say that this downtrend over here, this trend line on the bottom is a good spot to see a bounce. But because I'm picking up the divergence on the MACD and RSI, it tells me that this might be a potential spot where we begin to see the reversal. If we were to measure it from where we are now back to the bottom, it's about 20%. So if you were to buy NEO here, you'd be risking about 20% and even possibly lower back to the bottom if we make the move all at once. So that's 30%. Okay, so let's talk about where we could go towards the upside if this reversal was to happen. Well, you guys can see I've put on my retracements over here and those give me targets towards the upside. 
and I do see a couple of points. Right away, you guys know that this downtrend over here has two sides to it, the lower and the upper. And I do see this point right here being somewhat of a resistance point. Now, that would give us around potential for a 50% trade. Not bad at all, especially with where we're at right now. But personally, I'm not really looking to trade NEO. What I would do instead of trying to catch this move to the upside is I would look for it to make this move to the upside first and then look to short it because the probability of NEO going up right now rather than down is actually lower. I still do think we're going to be heading lower than we are now ultimately, even if we do make this move up, unless we break above this yellow line over here, which would be around a 73% move. And I just don't see that happening. It, of course, it could happen, but I just don't see it being likely. So really, if NEO was to go up here and you had the ability to short it, that's what I would look to do. And I just want to reinforce that this is not financial advice. I'm kind of just giving you guys my thought process on what I would do if this move were to happen. Now, like I said before, this move could happen and it still wouldn't mean Neo's bullish because ultimately I see this spot being the ultimate destination unless we break through this yellow line right here. So that's what I think is going to happen with Neo. Either we get this move up to the upside or we go straight down and then we can start our move back to the upside. Those are the scenarios I see playing out with Neo. So for now, let's move on to the Neo USD pair. All right, so here's a pretty interesting pair, mainly because we've managed to keep this trend line intact for about six months. Oh no, seven months by now. So the question is, are we going to be seeing $30 Neo first? Or are we going to be seeing $5 NEO again? That's the real question. And I have pros and cons for each side. So let's start off with the pros. The pros are is that we've had this trend line intact for a while now. We've managed to make higher highs throughout this past year. And we've managed to kind of respect these blue lines I have set out here. You guys can see this blue, these blue lines over here on the left. We have the true 3.6. We got a retrace. We moved up again to the 3.82. We got a retrace. Is this retrace simply taking us back to the trend line to take us higher to the 50? Fibonacci retracement over here and take us to around $23 or possibly even $27. That's the real question I have for NEO USD. And it's completely possible that we make this move so long as we don't break below this trend line and close under it. That's the big if. Now, there's a lot of news circulating about NEO 3.0, and most of you might think that NEO can't go below $9 again to C5 if this news is already out there and it's being developed and whatnot, but I just simply don't believe that. And I think that the NEO USD chart actually has more negatives at this point than positives because we can see that right now we're currently under the moving averages and that can change. That can change very easily if NEO decides to put a, a move to the upside. Now, if NEO was to do that, I would slightly turn bullish because I think it has a chance to run towards that. But currently we're just in a downtrend. You guys can see we haven't been able to break set downtrend for a while now and this can this can change in the crypto space it doesn't take a lot to move coins since it's a fairly low market cap in general but there is another factor that most people tend to dismiss and that is that bitcoin is currently going down and half of what moves the neo usd pair is the bitcoin chart bitcoin just broke below 10k today for the second time that's definitely not a bullish sign for bitcoin and the other half that moves the neo usd pair is the neo btc pair and we currently saw that chart now you could argue that with the help of neo btc neo usd could run back up to 30 dollars the key ingredient and the most difficult thing here to time is that bitcoin and neo btc both go up at the same time and that's the only way i can see neo usd really going to $30 here. So let me repeat that. The only way I see NEO USD going to $30 first and not $5 is if NEO BTC makes this move up to this point and BTC USD makes it up back to around 12K. That's the only way I see NEO USD reaching $30. And that could happen. It all depends on what Bitcoin does really. Because if Bitcoin drops below $9,000, that move is off the table because I am pretty confident that we're gonna be breaking below the $9 range here. And if we break below that and close under here, we're definitely going back to $5. So as for now, to me, NEO still isn't ready to make a huge move to the upside. It still remains more bearish than bullish. I've given you guys my thoughts on why I think NEO has a higher probability to go down rather than up at this point. Of course, you guys have your own decisions and your own reasons for buying into NEO now or selling NEO. I'd be interested to hear those reasons in the comments below. If you guys want to start a conversation in the comments, feel free. I do read every single comment and respond to each and every single one of you. But as for now, that is pretty much all I have to show for you guys today. If you guys enjoy the video, please do leave a like on these videos. I work hard to show you these charts and would love to see the appreciation and love on these videos. But for now, I will see you guys on the next video on Friday, which might be a REN video. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But as for now, I will see you on the next video as usual. 
stay safe out there guys